In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to turn matte nails into a glossy, shiny nails. For those who don't know, matte nails are non-reflective. On the other hand, glossy nails have reflections. Anyway, in this tutorial, we'll be using this photo. You can download all these photos for practice. Check the links in the description to download them. Since the difference is the reflection of lights, so to turn a matte nail to a glossy nail, we need to add that reflection. The quickest way, which is not so realistic, is that you can paint the highlights or the reflections. On a new layer, you can draw the reflection with the lasso tool. Then fill it with white by pressing Alt Backspace or Option Delete. We can also paint it with the brush tool. Then you can add some blur to it or reduce the opacity. But this doesn't look so realistic. The best way to add reflection is to extract a reflection from another photo. Here I have different types of reflections. We can pick any photo depending what type of glossy nails you want. Okay, let's first do this one. Select the lasso tool and roughly select only the reflection. Now press Ctrl or Command and J to copy the selected areas on a new layer. Drag and drop it to our main photo. Press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform and reposition and resize it. Reduce the opacity so that we can adjust it properly. Now increase the opacity. We need to hide the dark areas. So just change the blend mode to a screen. Sometimes you may see some other areas are visible. In that case, we can create a levels adjustment layer. Press Ctrl Command and L for levels. We need to make the bright brighter and the dark darker. If you think the highlights is too much, then you can always reduce the opacity. Now let's do the second example. The process is almost the same. Let me delete this layer. Okay, now select the lasso tool and this time we are gonna select the whole nail. Unlike the last example, here the reflection is all over the nail. Press Ctrl Command and J to copy it on a new layer. Now drag and drop this to our main photo. Press Ctrl Command and T to reposition it. You can use the warp to adjust it properly. Unlike the last example, there are some colors, so we need to take away the colors. I don't want the new color to affect the original color. Press Ctrl or Command, Shift and U to desaturate it. You can find desaturate in Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Now we can change the blend mode to Screen. Press Ctrl Command and L for levels and make the bright areas brighter and the dark darker. See, now it looks so much realistic. There are some extra areas we can easily mask it out. Click the mask icon to create a layer mask. With the brush tool, paint with black to hide the extra areas. We know in mask, black hides and white shows. Let me do one more from here. I need to show you something. Like before, copy one nail. Then drag and drop it here. This time, I will convert it into a smart object so that we can adjust the warp or the levels after applying it. When you convert a layer into a smart object, then the effects or filters or the adjustment layers can be changed later. Now reposition it like before. One thing will be a bit different is that for a smart object, you cannot press Ctrl or Command, Shift and U to desaturate it. You need to use a black and white or hue saturation adjustment layer to take away the color. The other process will be exactly the same. Similarly, do the other nails. We can copy the other nails from this photo or you can just copy the same reflections. Press Ctrl Command and J to copy a layer and then adjust it. Warp a bit so that it doesn't look the same. So this is how you can turn a matte nail into a glossy nail. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel for new tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.